Hey everybody, it's Paul from Screen 90 Scribe. Just so you know who I am, I've been an amateur screenwriter for the last 10 years. The last two years, I've been really more interested in the screenwriting software and other writing softwares that help make our writing journeys a whole much better. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at how to get started in Final Draft 13, how to make it easy, and how to get going in under 10 minutes. All right, so I'm on the main menu. You can do Quick Start, which is to watch a short video on getting started with Final Draft. Uh, you can do an idea to script, again, watch another short video, or you can just simply look at what's new. Uh, what you're basically going to do is just start with this right here, click New File. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the view because I want a full screen view uh, because it's just easier for me. So I just simply go to View, Enter, Full Screen. There you go. And here we are. We are at... Uh, just the, the thing here, let's take a look at our, sort of our, our document here. If you just scroll up, you can take a look at, there's a file, edit, view, format, insert, document, all that other fun stuff. Uh, so right now we can just begin writing. Uh, we can start by putting like interior and then write over what we're gonna do. So I'll do a couple of this so you can just sort of see how to go through the motions. Nice thing about Final Draft is it does have an autofill menu as you see what it did with uh, with the day. So let me do an action line right now and then we'll go through and show you how to do uh, characters and stuff. And so once we do this initial piece where we write inter interior or exterior, it automatically gets us to a action line. So let me write a little brief action. All right, now if we want to add another character, right now we have Ken and what I need to do with Ken since we're just introducing him is, there we go. Next thing I want to do is I want to add a character. So what I'm going to do is just hit the tab key and then I could type in like mom but it automatically defaults us to a dialogue uh, if you look down here for the bottom it gives us some help so we can use tab to do a parenthetical enter to search for element or command hold for elements so if i hit the command key let's just take a look here you can see that zero is for general one is for scene headings two is for actions character parenthetical shot case list act list uh, and con uh, command control hold for more elements um, so we can do that, or I can just simply hit enter or return in my case, and it can show you, it'll show you, uh, don't hold the key down, that's why it was blinking. You can see what uh, you can add to your shot. Uh, simply, you can write your, uh, if I want to say that she whispers, I just simply had to hit uh, tab again. Um, Okay. And so there you go. That's basically how you just would keep writing your screenplay and stuff like that. Uh, you'll notice down at the bottom, you can do a timed writing. So if you want to click on this, you can do uh, simply click on a the countdown uh, or you can do a stopwatch. You can start your sprint. So and you can also at the end of it, show your stats as well too. Uh, the microphone here is, um, do you want to enable detection, di dictation? Uh, and so um, you can just dictate. Some people I know are, it's easier for that. Your other control down here. So this other control here is focus mode. So you can just sort of see it's just boom. You get more of a focus in the middle of the screen. If we go on and off focus, you don't see the other elements of final draft at all. And then finally you have midnight mode. I can change that to day mode. I can change that to night mode uh, or midnight mode is the default mode. Uh, let's. And then I can also increase the size of the document as well to the text what I'm looking at as well. So this should get you to where you need to go. Once I'm done typing and stuff like that, I simply would go up to file, save as, and then type whatever I want to say. I'll say in this case, test one, and then the document is saved to my desktop. And then I can get at it afterwards as well too. So there you go. That is Final Draft 13. Pretty easy to get started and stuff like that. We got you the basics. We got you running. We got you able to start putting your script down. We even showed you how to save it. Well, what other things are you looking for to learn about in Final Draft 13? Let me know in the comment section below. Until the next video, write well and live well.